He felt he had to be in a different place. I think we all understand these are trying times for everybody, Sweeney said. The priority for Tuca at this point in time, and rightfully so, has to be his family, and we support that. Rask and his wife, Jasmina, welcome their third daughter, Livia, in April. Rask wears the initials of Vivian, 6, and Adeli, 4, on his mask. According to his boss, Rask is not leaving Toronto because of an emergency at home. We understand completely where Tuca is coming from, Sweeney said. We're privy to information maybe before the rest of the public is. This has been a difficult decision for Tuca. All of our players, we knew this would be a mental challenge, especially the players with families. He has a newborn at home, and two other young girls. He felt he needed to be home with them. The priorities are in order. We're fortunate that his family is all healthy, and they're going to have their dad back to be around on a regular basis. Rask took a three-day personal leave in November 2018, saying upon return he was making things right at home. In coming to terms on a return-to-play format and new collective bargaining agreement in May, the NHL and NHL Players Association said players could opt out of this postseason at any time without penalty. Rask is the second Bruin to do so. Defenseman Stephen Kampfer declined to play, citing concerns about the impact a COVID-19 infection would have on the health of his wife and one-year-old son, who share a congenital heart defect. Asked if other Bruins might leave, Sweeney couldn't say. You never know or not if there's a domino effect, Sweeney said, noting that teams assist players' families as much as possible. Everyone's individual situation will be taken as it comes. This is a time where you have to roll with whatever comes your way. Rask pulling out of the postseason leaves Yaroslav Halak as the Bruins' starting goaltender for the duration of their playoff run. The backups will be Dan Vladder, 22, who has not played in an NHL game, and Max Lagacci, 27, who suited up for 17 games with Vegas before signing with Boston last summer. We've got another good goaltender in there, coach Bruce Cassidy said on NESN before the game. Obviously, Tuca's a popular guy in the room, so I'm sure the players will be affected by it, but by 12 o'clock, puck drop, the understanding is in that room that Jaro helped us to get to this point. He's an NHL-caliber goaltender. An opportunity for him to get on a good run for us. I think the team has full confidence in him. I know the coaching staff does. Halak, 35, brought no. One goalie experience from Montreal, St. Louis, Washington, and the New York Islanders when he signed with the Bruins in July 2018. Before appearing in the round robin, his last playoff appearance was in 2015. He went the 6th of August 18 this season with a .919 save percentage and 2.39 goals against average and three shutouts.